Hello, my name is Jared Wheeler. I'm an application engineer with 4D Technology. Um, we're going to measure this part here. It's just a small aviation blade. So there's a scratch here that I've circled. I'm going to measure this first with the inspect really quickly. So I'll just go in here, make it handheld. There. So five seconds. So, so 94 microns, or just under 4 thou. Now I want to measure with a more conventional system, the stylus and the rubber cast. So first, I'm going to take a rubber cast at the sample. So the rubber cast, it takes about 5-10 minutes to set. And I'm going to do that right now. So. Okay, so here's the rubber cast we just made. Um, you can see there's a raised, now raised, scratch in the middle instead of an indentation. So um, it's the same spot we measured over on the blade. Um, now we can go over here to the um, stylus system. Now I want to replace it roughly on the high spot as far as I can tell. So I'm going to try to place it right there. And then for start, and that's around 50 microns. See that first peak. So that's again about 50 microns. So that was around 70 microns. Okay, so those are three different measurements of the stylus system. And they all were under what I was expecting from the inspec. And they all, which is just chance, but also they were all very a little different. Um, and I like to call that operator dependence, because depending how you place the stylus, you're going to get a different result, because you're doing a one-line 2D trace. Um, where that scan is done, the result's going to be different, especially on a scratch, where you know the deepest point is. Um, in this case, I could kind of, even when I can kind of see the highest point, I still had a hard time placing the stylus tip correctly. So now we are, I'm going to measure the rubber cast material with the inspect, just to go a full continuous measurement loop. Um, to kind of show you, you can measure the part directly or a rubber cast. Um, so let's do that real fast. Like that. So great. So here's the original measurement on the real part. We can see the low on the scratch um, is the pink area on the right, so it located the defect, about 94 microns, so a little under 4 thou. And uh, we can go to the rubber cast, where it's a height now, um, and the defect is the wider section, which is of the scratch, which is about 91 microns, so a little under 4 thou again. And these are, since there's three microns separate, that is actually the noise floor of the system. So for all practical purposes, we got the identical result. Um, the inspect took about five to ten seconds per measurement, whereas the rubber cast and stylus system took I don't know, five to ten for the rubber cast to set, and then another few minutes for the stylus system to be set up and run. So 15 minutes. So the main point of this video is to show you um, kind of the ease of use, the speed, and basically the accuracy using the inspect as a measurement tool. Um, let's say for example, um, I had used my results from the stylus. I measured around 50 or 60 microns, and now this part is actually around 90 microns. And let's say the spec is 75 microns. Um, I, I could have just passed the part that actually failed. 